What's up, guys? You are welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrities, and metro stories. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read Jonathan and David Lyon captured on camera celebrating APC victory with a bottle of red wine. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there's a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button, then click the bell icon beside it to remain updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again. All right, um, good luck, Ebele. Jonathan has been actually been captured on camera celebrating with David Lyon, the governor elect of Bayelsa State. All right, you discovered that um, Good Luck Jonathan was the one who actually helped David Lyon to actually win his own stakes. Okay, if you study what has what actually transpired, you discover that Good Luck Jonathan and uh, Governor Syriaca Dixon were at loggerheads. They had um, um, some crisis. Okay, and according to um, sources, you discover that. Dixon didn't want to field Jonathan's own candidate. In fact, he made Jonathan's candidate fail in PDP's primary and then had his own candidate, uh, Senator Duoye Diri, to win the PDP primaries. And in spite of entreaties from Gula Jonathan to allow him to field the deputy uh, uh, governor, you get the deputy can uh, governorship can candidate. All fell on deaf ear as Dixon rebuffed all attempts by Jonathan to fill the deputy, you know, governorship candidate. So, and according to sources, Jonathan had no option than to actually cause the whole house of cards to fall, to crash down. That's what he did. And we all saw that, you know, how Jonathan actually helped APC to win you know his own state though a lot of people were beginning to say um in fact this guy sule lamido the governor of jigawa former governor of jigawa state the man is known to be very vocal he has said that jonathan did that because jonathan has an ongoing case already with efcc in fact it's not even an efcc case the case is already in the british court already the, the case is called malabo all uh, a scam okay so in that malabo oil scam jonathan was actually fingered as being the one involved though according to the story uh, the story added that he was using some cronies okay so i don't want to delve deep into that that's not for today so but sule lamido said that jonathan had to deliver his own state to apc just to appease the apc lord so that they will they will quench that case, okay? Just to appease them. That's what Sule Lamido actually said. But um, I don't actually think there's uh, actually a credence to that. But what he said is not, it, could, it may not be far from the truth. I don't actually know about that. But what I want to say, what if Jonathan had fielded his own candidate? Don't you think that Jonathan would have made his candidate to win? That's the argument. If Jonathan had been allowed to field his candidate, I don't see any how apc would have won by state i don't think it would have been possible but because there was already a fracas within the pdp's rank there was a fracas already because uh dixon siraka dixon wanted to become a godfather overnight he wanted to become a godfather knowing that the problem of nigeria today you get is godfatherism of course jonathan is known to be the godfather of Bayelsa. okay Jonathan single-handedly messed up uh, uh, Sylvia. When she, Sylvia only did only one term in office, he had J Sylvia removed. You know, she, has, she didn't succeed to win by Elsa election. He didn't succeed to. Sylvia was removed, and then Dixon was, in, you know, was installed single-handedly by Jonathan. But let me not go deep into that. If you look at what Jonathan has just done. Um, according to PDP rules and regulation, this is anti-party activity, and he is supposed to be suspended for that. But I know they are not going to suspend him. You get, 
I'm not saying that Jonathan is uh, what Jonathan did if uh, we were to be in his shoe. What will you do if you are a godfather? If your own political godson spit on your face, what are you going to do? The politics of Nigeria allows godfatherism, and this is one of our problems. Maybe if I were to be in the shoes of Jonathan, maybe it's what I would do. You get, but that's not uh, uh, that notwithstanding, truth is truth. Godfatherism is a problem of Nigeria today is a problem and you guys remember that Edu Fry actually gave a speech in Lagos that is in the prelude to the 2019 election he gave one he gave a speech and in that speech he was talking about the the problem of godfatherism and how to overcome godfatherism though a lot of people actually saw it as a direct attack on Tinubu because people know Tinubu to be one of the big time godfathers in Nigerian politics Everybody know that Tinubu was the one who single-handedly placed Buhari there in government because they forged an alliance with ACN. You know, Buhari was from CPC. You know, three parties forged an alliance together: ANPP, CPC, and ACN. And we know that ACN controlled the entire, you know, uh, uh, Southwest politics. Okay, and this guy Tinubu was very powerful. So that actually saw Buhari emerging. So. Tinubu, uh, giving that speech was an affront against Tinubu, which, according to uh, uh, Tinubu, Tinubu didn't take it kindly as at that time. Uh, there were barrage of attack from both camps, both the camp of Erufry and the camp of Tinubu exchange war of words. So, but that's not what we are going in today. So, but Jonathan had been spotted. Okay, if he had helped Syriaca Dixon to I mean, uh, sorry, uh, David Lyon to power. Uh, David Lyon appeared in Kosi visit, and even Mama Peace, patient Jonathan even actually hosted a, a, a party to entertain those APC chieftains. So this is in, in itself uh, a ground for suspension from the party because this is anti-party activity. But I think the AP, uh, PDP party chieftains are not actually looking at it from that perspective. They were looking at it that it is it was a, all the fault of Syria Dixon because he totally relegated Jonathan to the background. So they saw in fact everybody is pointing accusing finger on Syria Dixon. They put accusing finger on him that he was the one who allowed Jonathan to react this way. You get so uh that is what actually happened. So a PDP on the server, I think PDP have replied, they have actually issued out a response and said uh, they are not going to suspend Jonathan, that they have nothing against him. And you know, it's the same thing. That, like I said, this is the problem of Nigeria. Remember, in the prelude to 2015, Obasanjo did the same thing to Jonathan. It is the same treatment Obasanjo met to Jonathan that Jonathan is now meting out to Dixon. So I don't know who's, who's, who Dixon is going to make out the same treatment to because Dixon is totally out of politics now. He is retiring. He's not, he's not going for Senate. You get it. He's not going for Senate. So he is retiring from politics completely. Okay. So that is what actually um, uh, happened. So Jonathan here, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think that Jonathan have actually uh contravene pdp rules by actually um celebrating with and with apc the ruling party do you think that jonathan have actually broken the pdp rule and as such liable to suspension or do you think that what sule lamido said that jonathan you get actually bowed to pressure delivered his own state to apc in fear of being of uh or in or or in fear of the oil Malabo scam uh, uh, probe, what do you actually think? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. But personally, my own opinion, I don't actually think that the Malabo oil uh, uh, probe was what necessitated Jonathan to deliver his own state to APC. What I think is that because Jonathan wanted to deal with Syria Dixon, he wanted to deal with him. To the very last so that it will be a lesson to him for life i think that is the reason why because if jonathan or if syriaca dixon had allowed jonathan to field his own candidate i don't think jonathan would have um, done what he did you know by allowing his own state to be captured by apc 
So, but what do you guys think? I want to drop your comment below. Let me know what you actually think about it. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you all.